one of the key things going forward for the new interim head coach, Antonio Pierce, the quarterback position. He was asked for his thoughts on a position that consists of Jimmy Garoppolo, Brian Hoyer, and Aiden O'Connell as the options. Here's Pierce on that subject. It'll be Aiden going for it. Why, why, why Aiden? We just feel like this is the best chance. What was the reaction like in the locker room when you made that announcement? Very supportive. The influence Josh had on offense from now until Sunday to kind of get a plan together and what you guys want to do and accomplish. Yeah, I started this press conference by saying it. New day, new month, new chapter, new mindset. So whatever we did in the past, doesn't matter. You know, I wish I could say we're 0-0. Zero zero. We're not, but we're approaching it that way. We're approaching the way both went in there today, the offense. I spoke with those gentlemen. Um, they know exactly the task and the plan going forward and what kind of offense we want to portray. And, you know, you know are you going to sit there and rip up the whole playbook? No. But you better go to your key guys. I'm not a fool. I'm a player. Remember, I was a player before I was a coach. <laughs> player ran business. And look, that's one of the problems we've seen with the Raiders this year. You have a guy like Devontae Adams. Why isn't the scheme getting him the ball more often? And we've seen an effort in recent weeks to get him the ball more often. There's just been a disconnect between him and quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. So Garoppolo goes to the bench. Aiden O'Connell takes over. And that would cut against the idea that they're not trying. Because if you're not trying, you ride with Jimmy. Because the belief is Aiden O'Connell's the best quarterback they have right now. Based on what we saw Monday night, hard to argue that Jimmy Garoppolo is their best option. No, I, I think, you know, there, there's, there's that, right? I think, you know, they're probably looking at, it, looking at it too, going, yeah, we know Jimmy Garoppolo's played more, but they're probably going, he's playing like crap anyways. I mean, so what? Aiden O'Connell might miss Devontae Adams wide open, but at least Aiden O'Connell might, you know, might have a chance to be the future. He's got a little fire and toughness about him, right? I think that's the other thing that, you know, and, and how Antonio Pierce said it, they were happy. They were ecstatic about it when he said it. You know, what does Jimmy Garoppolo bring to the table, right? What is, what is he? He's not leading your football team. You don't see him ever get on anybody. You don't ever see any reaction or energy from him at all, right? So for a team that's kind of like struggling and kind of instill some culture, they're going, wait, we're going to go with a guy who's willing to stand in there and, you know, mother F himself and he wants to do good and he wants to compete and he's still proving himself compared to a guy that looks like, ah, you know, yeah, I play quarterback and I got a big check and whatever else, but, you know, I'm not going to go above and beyond and work too hard here to be too good at it. I mean, that's, that's kind of the optics of the situation with, with that there. So I, I can understand them wanting to go that way. Uh, I can, but yeah, I still think it's, you know, to your, to what we're talking about, a little bit of a soft tank there, uh, either way. And wait, well, Mike, the most the important thing, the most important thing and where I, I, sorry, I got sidetracked there is like a Mike Florio point of all time. Like, come on counselor. They don't want him getting hurt. This is Jimmy glass Garoppolo well, and they, they can, right, but you know what? Yeah. You know what? Go ahead. I, I went back last night. And they I, can get out of it? He had the initial contract. Yeah. Now, here, here, here's, what, here's, how, here's how it works. The initial contract that they agreed to before he failed the physical right. had $11.25 million in injury-guaranteed salary for next year, plus an $11.25 million fully-guaranteed roster bonus for next year. Okay? Yep. So... Under the original contract, as it was negotiated, there's 11.25 million reasons to keep him from getting injured over the balance of the year. Yep. When they redid the contract, what they did was they made the base salary next year fully guaranteed. They made the uh, the roster bonus due next year non guaranteed. So there's no longer a Anything. reason okay. to keep him healthy. Gotcha. There's, they, owe him, they owe him the salary. They were going to owe him $11.25 million next year anyway under either of the two contracts. Now the way it works is the salary's guaranteed. They'll get offset, but no one's paying him $11.25 million. But they'll avoid the roster bonus simply by cutting him. And I asked somebody late last night, and I got the answer this morning. Cool, if yeah. he's injured, when the roster bonus is due – 
they can still cut him because it's not injury guaranteed. Gotcha. They can cut him okay. before the roster bonus comes due. So they'll avoid the $11.25 million, whether they keep him or whether they get rid of him. But the broader question is this. Do you want him around? Like, once you've decided he's not the guy, do you just go with O'Connell and Hoyer and tell Jimmy Garoppolo, see you later, we're just going to put you on waivers, no one's going to claim the contract, and then the question is, will somebody sign him as a free agent and the Raiders will get dollar-for-dollar dollar credit over what they're going to pay him anyway if he's sitting there on the bench, they'll get some of that money back if he goes and plays somewhere else as a backup quarterback to finish out this year and next year. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a good question. I would expect no, right, with Brian Hoyer being the only other option there and the way he looked playing, like, that, that that's a complete disaster. I don't think you can even sell that to your team that you're trying to win football games competitively if you throw him back out there. I think they'll keep Jimmy Garoppolo. You know, they'll keep him as the backup. Uh, I, you know, that's what I would imagine happening. And you know, we'll, we'll see where this goes. This ain't going to be easy, right? You know, like you brought up too, like with the Devontae Adams thing, it's not like this, this coaching staff that just got fired forgot how to throw the ball to Devontae Adams. You know, they, they, kn they know how to get him the ball. It's just, there's nothing else in the offense to get everybody off of Devontae Adams for the most part. And when they do get them open, Garoppolo hasn't been good enough to hit them or find them or do whatever there. So it's like a double whammy, you know, at least last year they had the number one running attack in football or the number one running back in football and they could play the running the running game off of Devontae Adams and vice versa and that worked this year there's just nothing so that's where they're really in a tough spot but yeah I I, I don't if I was the Raiders I wouldn't cut them and let them out of there I would go, well, well, you're the guy that duped us and, and kind of lied to us about your foot, and now we've paid you a lot of money. You're not getting out of here. You're going to enjoy the struggle with the rest of us. That's what I would do if I were the Raiders. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like he's – you know what? It's not like he's going to be a pain in the butt. Right. He's just going to kind of be there. there. He's a bump on a log, not yeah. a pain on the butt. Right, right. 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 Yes, that's what it'll be. I don't he'll think he's that kind of guy. That, yeah, happily cash the checks. He's not going to cause trouble. Fine, that's fine. I, he went through this in San Francisco. Yes, when he was basically excommunicated while still on the roster, and he was fine with it. He never. He's not a guy that is into confrontation. He's never been that way. So he'll be fine. He won't be an issue, and maybe they'll need him to play a couple of games at the end of the season, right. based right. upon how things go with the other guys on the roster. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.